minutes after 11 a.m. this morning. The ambulance carrying baby Miracle sneaked its way out of Kenyatta National Hospital. But not before stopping few meters to allow the media to capture the captivating moment of baby Miracle, who for almost a week shouldered these unforgiving debris before she was rescued and scathed and taken to Kenyatta National Hospital for routine checkup. It was a sweet reunion between a father and a daughter. Days after baby Miracle was rescued from the collapsed building in Huruma Estate. She's here na Ebu Salimio in Kenya. Salimio Kenya. A joyful father, a delighted daughter, was the picture before the cameras as the two reunited after a week or so of fatherly agony. Kwa mikono yangu ni na Dilarin Saisi Wasike, ambaye ni my daughter. Niko na furakuba sana, niko manake. Mtoto amekuwa inje ya mikono yangu kwa mdamrefu. The baby is free from, from no any other injuries other than the bruises here. And medically the baby is fit. Therefore she has been discharged to go back to the community. Baby Favor, whose real name is Saiz Wasike, is among 140 people rescued from the ill-fated building that also claimed 51 lives. The government and the Nagaundi government have plans for them. And also, Honorable Mike Sango has offered to give 10, uh, 10 hearts to transport these victims, whatever location in this country they want. But surprises were waiting the father and his seven months old baby. A full time baby shopping courtesy of Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko was in the offing. And for once, the Wasikes were spoiled for choice. It was now time to go back to what would be the new home for Saisi Wasike. Her paternal grandmother, where the baby's father has been seeking refuge, sees the fateful Friday two weeks ago. Here, the Wasikes were joined by delighted family members, friends and neighbors. It's a two-room residence not too far from the collapsed Oruma building, but nevertheless, a safe haven for now. Nikona kufraa kubwa, pamoja na jami yangu, nikiwa na mchuku wangu. Juve nilikuwa kenyata, si kujua kama naeza toka. Ati wakati mkase kitendeka, si kujua kama kuna kitu naeza okoa. Lakini kwa ajia uwezo wa mwenyezi mungu, hame niurumia. Nimepotasa saidi moja, lakini saidi moja nimefaidika. It might take years for baby Saiz Wasike to comprehend what is happening now, but her father definitely will carry the memories on her behalf. And maybe one day she will come to narrate the fairy tale that preceded her miraculous survival. Samson Kitavi, Channel 1 News.